the sizing of transistor. The sizing of the transistor can be done using RC delay approximation. The RC delay model helps in delay estimation of CMOS circuit. The RC delay model treats the nonlinear transistor current voltage IV and capacitor voltage CV characteristics with their equivalent resistance and capacitance model. This RC delay model approximates a transistor as a switch with a series of resistance or effective resistance R, which is the ratio of the average value of VDS to IDS. The size of a unit transistor is approximated as 4 halves lambda. The RC circuit equivalent models for the PMOS and NMOS transistors that are shown. Here Here the K width of both PMOS and NMOS transistors are contacted to source S and drain D. Since the holes in PMOS have lower mobility compared to electrons in the NMOS transistors, the PMOS will have twice the resistance of the NMOS. The N well is usually tied with the high voltage because the capacitors of PMOS are shown with the VDD as their second terminal in the figure shown above. Similarly in NMOS, the capacitors are connected to ground because usually P well will be connected to lower supply. The NMOS transistor which is having K times of width will have the resistance of RK. Similarly, a unit PMOS transistor which is having the K times of width will have the resistance of 2R by K. This is because of PMOS transistor will have greater resistance compared to the NMOS transistor because its mobility is less. The value of R will be typically on the order of 10 kilo ohm for a single transistor. For a unit PMOS transistor, the effective resistance with the width K is given by 2R by K. By looking at the pull-up network in the above circuit, we should find out the worst case or the longest path to VDD. In the above network, the path ECB is the longest path. So we can write the equation 2R by K plus 2R by K plus 2R by K equals R where R is the effective resistance. The equation gives the value of K equals 6. Therefore the K value of transistors E, C, and B will be 6. One more path DCB also contributes to the worst case or longest path, so the K value of the transistor D also becomes 6. The transistor A is equivalent to two transistors B and C by looking at the circuit. Therefore we can write 2R by K equals 2 times of 2R by 6, since we know the K values of B and C transistors. Therefore the K value of transistor A is 3. For a unit NMOS transistor, the effective resistance with the width K is given by R by K. In the above network, the worst case or the longest path can be seen is with two transistors. The paths AB, AC, and D. So we can write the relation 2 times of R by K equals R, so the value of K of all the NMOS transistors will be 2. Since, all are in the longest path. 